For some people, it's the only place they shop for Christmas gifts, a treasure trove of handmade arts and crafts. It's the 26th year for the Hawke's Bay Arts and Crafts Christmas Bazaar and it's growing bigger all the time. They are an eclectic group of the best arts and craft people in Hawke's Bay. Everything from candle makers to book makers to knitted toys. We have wood turners, we have metal workers, we have everyone. Everyone's really good. It's only Hawke's Bay people that enter. Uh, we only supply Hawke's Bay products and they've made it all by hand. So there is a real emphasis on it has to be handmade. Honing their craft for years and years and years. We do have wood tuners exhibition during the year, so some of them come in for that as well. So we know quite a few of them and it's like a big reunion every Christmas, which is great. We have 60 plus participants, so they're allowed to bring in maybe 20, 30 things each. So we're talking about 1,800 plus. We've got lots and we also have extras out the back. Some are one-offs, some are multiple items that you could use for a stocking stuffer but some are gorgeous Lazy Susans or wood items that aren't to be repeated. So people need to have a look and get in here and get what they want because it might not be repeated. While some might suffer a fear of missing out, arts and crafters do make regular visits to restock their treasures. And they even manage to squeeze in some shopping of their own. Well, I'm here today because I'm a local beekeeper and candle maker and I work exclusively in beeswax, pure beeswax, and uh, we have brought all of our candles in to the show. This is a wonderful resource for us, you know, the ability, especially in these days, to be able to reach out into your local community and show them what you do and offer them a whole range of what you do. So there's something for everyone, you know, in terms of tastes. And it's a great chance for me to actually see what people want. What do people want? Well, the classics always sell. We have gorgeous big pillars that are just beautiful on any sort of a dining table or a sideboard or whatever. But the thing that's really taking off here, believe it or not, sculpted skulls. Beautiful little skull candles, gothic patterns, um, skulls covered in skeletons. You name it, we've got it. And of course the Christmas. Be beautiful Christmas trees, classic pine trees or holly trees and the Santas. And what do you think of the other things here for sale? Oh, the absolutely gorgeous range of things here. You know, everything's handcrafted. You can see all of the attention that's gone into them and the range. The colours, when you come in here, it just kind of smacks you in the eye. And uh, yeah, I know where I'm doing my Christmas shopping. <laughs> the Craft Bazaar is held in Hastings Community Art Centre, a venue sometimes inaccessible to artists. Normally if you exhibit here you have to have one whole side of the gallery but for the Christmas Bazaar you could just put in four or five paintings for the time of the Bazaar. There is a TUI across the gallery that's been calling to me for the last week and I'll be lucky to get out of here without it. <laughs> the Bazaar is open to the public until December 24 on Russell Street South. It's open Mondays to Fridays 9.30am to 4pm and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.